Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today for Cut at Home. I'd like to share with you a Sizzix die by Brenda Walton, and this is the notepad cover. And this is a Biggs die. And here is what comes in this. It's the notepad cover itself, and it already scores it for you. And um, it comes with a rosette right there, a butterfly, and a little scallop to hold the, help hold the rosette together. And there's a sample of what it looks like. This is perfect for the 3x3 post-it notes. And here's a sample of it right here. I used some double-sided paper that I had in my stash and added a little bow from the Cameo on it with an enamel dot. And it opens up and holds your notepads, or your um, post-it notes. Also, I want to show something else that I did with it. I made a um, whether it be a journal book or a brag, brag book, whatever the person would like to use it for. And I made that using this die as well. I used some Velcro. You can use magnet or Velcro. I added a Prima flower on the front, some Say It In crystals and rhinestones, some skeleton leaves in the back, a butterfly and a Tim Holtz ticket. And I do have a quick start to finish video on this that I will play at the end of this video if you'd like to watch how I made this. I used lightweight chipboard. It's similar to cereal box thickness and I added my paper on the front and back. And I'd like to share with you the paper that I use. This is the Tim Holtz Ideology Paper Stash Wallflower. This also is available at Cut at Home and they have the vellum of this as well. This is absolutely stunning paper. So let me just flip through real quick. They have the, um, it's all double sided, it's thick cardstock. If you've not tried out Tim Holtz paper, you'll love it. The quality is amazing. And they have six by six, um, these are three by three, and then three by four. And look at the designs, these are just beautiful. And then here's the 12 by 12. I love this paper. So like I said, this is also available at Cut at Home. I will put links to all the products that I used in the description box and also on Cut at Home's blog. So here's the paper that I used, that's from that stack. And when you open it up, I scored all the paper and I added some craft paper in here as well. So this can be used for journaling or you could even add two by two or two by three photos to this as well. So like I said, I do have a, a video showing how I made this, but just to quickly show you how I did it, I cut out two pieces from the die. I used my paper trimmer so I got a, a straight cut, but I'll show you quickly here. I cut off just this bracket edge, adhered it to right up to the score line on this. And then I measured it to make sure, I believe it was three by six were my papers. And I added them right before this score line, which it's hard to see on camera, and right before this score line. And I adhered every single one down. I scored them so they can fold up and I adhered them down and then this folds perfectly over, just like that. So I have a video that will show that in greater detail if you'd like to watch that. But here's several of these little notepad covers that I made. These are super quick. You can just make tons of them. I've added flowers to some. I've added some bows. Here's a little seam binding. Here's a little journaling card. This is gratitude equals happy heart. That's an Allie Edwards stamp. Here's a little bow, and then this one I showed you as well. So let me set these aside. I'll be right back, and I want to show you how quickly these come together. Okay, so I'm using a Big Shot, and if you look up on Sizzix blog, you can search sandwich for Sizzix, and it will tell you how to sandwich your dies. And um, depending on your machine, they're all pretty similar. So the first thing I will put down is a plate, my Biggs die, and I'm facing the uh, 
cutting part up, I'm going to place down my paper. I'm using some K and Company paper here. And then I'm going to place my cutting mat and it looks warped and it looks yucky, but it works perfectly. Now with these big dies, you can cut material, you can cut um, cart chipboard from them. So you can cut lots of things from them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run that through. And that's what I used um, for that, this journal pad here is some lightweight chipboard like I had stated. So look how great that cuts out. Let me set this aside. Okay, so here's the die, your rosette, your little scallop here or um, little shape here and your butterfly. It does already give you the score lines in it. Not sure if it'll pick that up. And you just want to fold on those score lines. Here's my post-it note pad. And again, this is a three by three. I'm simply going to place it in, make sure that it's going the correct way. And what I like to do is just kind of place it in there, make sure it's where I want, make sure it's even. And then once I, I get it where I want, I'm going to hold it there and add some wet glue. You can use tape. I like to use wet glue just so it affords me the time to move it if I need to move it. So I added some Scotch Quick Dry under there. I'll just press that down. And then it has a little slot here that you can put this bracket edge in. So you just tuck that under there. So let me set that aside while it's drying and show you the rosette here has score lines also. So let me just quickly fold these. You just want to go back and forth. can see this comes together super quick and these are a great gift to give these would be great for little Christmas stocking stuffers and there's just tons of things you can do with them tons of ways to decorate them they are addicting to use and like like I showed you can also make them into a longer notepad if you'd like and just add your own paper to it so check out Cut at Home's blog. There's lots more detail on the products that I use. There will be links to the products that I use and lots of information on the blog. Thanks so much for watching.